Welcome to episode two of our series of videos about the energy retrofit of the old fibro home next to the greenie flat. In episode one, we removed the asbestos from the outside of the building and began the process of insulating the exterior walls and wrapping the outside of the building with a vapor permeable and reflective sarking product. And here you can see on day three, uh, we're continuing that process around the east and south sides of the building. Now we're at the beginning of day four and you can see we've completed the south side and working our way around the east side now. We've got most of the east side done. This area around the front door here we're leaving because it's under cover so it's protected from the rain. And we have some work to do next to the meter box there. Uh, just some electrical wiring stuff. Uh, then going on around to the north side of the building. And you'll see here that we're just holding the sarking on temporarily with wooden battens because on this side we actually have to open the wall up again later in order to add some more windows and do some framing work on this side of the building. For now the priority is to get the uh, building basically waterproof again. Uh, here on the west side, you'll see we haven't got to the insulation yet, uh, we've got the TV antennas up above and we have to figure out what we're going to do with that wires from the television aerials. Um, a bunch of plumbing there, um, down below here is where there's been a plumbing leak in the toilet behind this wall and you can see it's rotted out the bottom plate of the wall. So we're going to have to uh, cut that out and replace the wood there and coming along beside the, below the laundry door we've also uh, got a bit of rot there so we'll have to do some work there replacing those rotten timbers. And then going into the laundry. Um, where we had asbestos on the walls, that's all been taken off, we've insulated now and we've waterproofed around the base of the wall. That white strip is a waterproofing strip to keep the gyprock rock up off the ground. So today is day five and uh, we had a wild light night last night. Had to put up some, come out in the dark and put up some tarps to protect the walls from the driven rain. But luckily today is nice and sunny so it's all drying out nicely. We had the plumber come this morning and take care of the leak in the toilet that's behind the wall here and we're continuing to focus on getting the laundry uh, plastered and uh, back in operation. So Here you see Daniel replacing another bit of rotten timber that was uh, on the south side of the laundry. Uh, here on the west side you'll see we've got the sarking on now so we're all basically waterproof and uh, here's Cynthia doing some painting on the inside of the laundry. So that's where we've got to at the end of day five and uh, now we've got quite a few bits and pieces to do while we're waiting for the replacement windows to arrive. Thanks for watching and visit greenieflat.com.au for more information.